How's it going gamers? You got hands here. And today in Dauntless, we're going over three awesome builds for Erska's Chain Blaze. That's right, I said it, three builds, y'all. We got a Catalyst build that just goes hard and it is epic. We also have a build that's bonded to Boreas's bond and uses Momentum Blades because we all know people love to play that playstyle with the CBs. And last but not least, we have an Iceborne build. Each one of these builds are very effective, they're strong, they attack well, and they're very efficient in what they do. So definitely stay tuned for each of the builds because I even go over variations for each of them if you want to switch it up in a different fashion. So remember to hang out and check out all three builds so you can find your favorite one out of the three. Hey gamer, if you like this video and you want to see more, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and click on that bell for notifications so we can stay together as a crew. And if you're looking for a crew, join us on Discord. That link will be in the description of the video, so I'll see you there. So turn on your system, grab your chain blades, and let's get ready. We're about to get in this video right now. What is up gamers, I'm sure you're super excited to hop in these builds. Remember we have three builds, a Catalyst Low Life Super Strong build, a Cunning build that's bonded with the Boreas Bond, and an Iceborne build, so stay tuned. But for this one, this is the Catalyst build, so let's hop into this bad boy. You're going to throw a Berserker in there and an Overpower. The special will be rocking Reaper's Dance and Serrated Blades. And you're going to bond it to Panguards because we're going to definitely utilize that Ice Bomb for some really nice damage. And do not forget about your legendary ability. It's really great Frost Shield. It blocks projectiles and it also chills Behemoth. So it's really nice and it does do damage. So for the headpiece, we're rocking Shroud's head, and you're going to throw a Discipline in there. And the chest piece is Koshai's, and we're going to throw a Catalyst cell. Remember, a lot of the builds that I show you that do have Catalyst, you can use other cells like Cascade or Conduit if you want to, but definitely use Catalyst for a super strong build. The arms are Malcarions, and you're going to throw a Berserker in that one. These are Charog's legs, and we're going to put an Overpower cell in there. For the lantern, we're rocking Drask's Eye for that lantern tap, so you can just slam down your chain blades for some great damage. And you're going to throw a Catalyst in there, or a Conduit or Cascade, it's up to you. So for the tonics, if you are rocking Catalyst, definitely try out a Soul Tonic, Blitz Tonic, or Frenzy Tonic. So all in all, what we got going on in this Catalyst build is a plus 6 Berserker, a plus 6 Catalyst, a plus 6 Overpower, a plus 6 Predator, oh my god, it's still going, a plus 6 Rage, and then the 3 Discipline and Weighted Strikes. Remember, we don't have an attack speed buff in this set of cells because we're utilizing Catalyst with the Blitz Tonic. So that's where all your attack speed will come from, and it will make this build really nice, and I hope you enjoy this build. So for the Catalyst build, if you don't want to use Catalyst, like I said, you can switch it to Conduit. And then you can also switch, since you don't have Catalyst for the attack speed buff, you can switch one of the Berserkers to Wall Frenzy. So then we'll put two Conduits on the Catalyst, and then go to a Berserker, and then take that to Wall Frenzy so we can have an attack speed buff if you want that. So all in all, that makes that into a Conduit, Overpower, Predator, Rage, 1 plus 3 Berserker, Discipline, Wild Strike, Wild Frenzy. So as you can see, that's also a great build, and you can choose what you would prefer. Alright gamers, this next build is a Critical Strike build that's bonded to Boreas' Bond and uses Momentum Blades for some really nice pullback specials and a nice Chain Slam. So let's hop into this build, guys. So you're going to throw a Berserker in this one and a Discipline Cell. The special is Reaper's Dance, but the mod for this one is Momentum Blades because after using a special, your next special use in 4 seconds is free, so you're going to be able to pop back and forth, stack it to 10 stacks, and slam down that Chain Slam for some great great damage and you're gonna bond it to Boris's chain blades we're gonna get that conditioning and you're also gonna get frost sprites every time you use your special which also stack for some really great damage y'all the headpiece is shrouds and you're gonna throw an overpower in that bad boy this is Thrax's chest piece and you're gonna put a predator in that one these are Boreas's arms and you're gonna put an overpower cell in there and these are also Thrax's legs and you're gonna put a predator cell in that one for the Lantern, you, we're using Drask's Eye also for the Insta Tap for the Chain Slam, so try to utilize it when it's best for the maximize of damage. 
And for the lantern, we're using Drask's lantern for the InstaTab, so you can definitely utilize that with Zeal, the cell we're going to throw in there, for a nice chain slam. So make sure to use your lantern tab on the chain slam if you can for some great, great, great damage, and you'll see that drop nice. So all in all, what we got going on in this build is a plus six cunning. Overpower, Predator, Rage, a little bit of Berserker to top that off with a little Cherry. And then we got Conditioning, that's from the Weapon Bond, and then Discipline and Zeal. As you can see in this one as well, we lack a little bit of attack speed. But for the most part, all you're going to be doing is using your special, popping back and forth, gaining those stacks, and dropping your Chain Blade. So that's why we lack the attack speed, and it's a straight awesome damage build. Alright gamers, next is the Iceborne build, so we're going to throw two Adrenaline cells in the Prismatic spots. Why Adrenaline you ask? Because recently it got a buff so it does more damage. So what you're going to want to do is try to expel your stamina to increase your damage. And that really helps because we're using down here Serrated Blades which utilizes the Swinging Blades combo and it'll actually add a little bit more extra damage from a critical strike. So the more you do your swinging blades combo, the more stamina you're doing with the heavy swing. So therefore you're spinning stamina, which will increase your damage through adrenaline. So if you have to, you can dodge a lot to get rid of your stamina to also increase your damage. And this is great because since the cell is a lot more better now, we'll replace a Rage Hunter, which Rage Hunter is only when they're raging out, but adrenaline is always direct raw damage all the time if you can utilize it correctly. So like I said, the special is Reaper's Dance and the mod is Serrated Blades. And we're going to bond this to Pangarns for that nice Ice Bomb explosion. The headpiece is Shrouds and you're going to put a Discipline Cell. The chest piece is Boreas and you're going to put an Iceborne Cell in that bad boy. And these are Torg's Arms and you're going to put an Overpower Cell. These are also Boreas's legs and we're going to put a Wild Frenzy in that one. The Lantern is Drask, and you're going to put a Zeal in there for a nice Chain Slam with that Insta Tap. So save it up, utilize it, and it'll do a great job of dropping some great damage. So all in all, we got in this build is a plus 6 Adrenaline, Iceborne, Overpower, Rage. That's some great damage, at least for an Iceborne build, guys. And then it has Discipline, which keeps us at half health. And then Wild Frenzy and Weighted Strikes, which is nice and zeal to top it all off so i hope you all enjoy this iceborne build and all the rest of the builds because they're really awesome they do great damage and they're very effective all right gamers that's all i got for you today hey if you like this video smash on that like button smash on that sub button and i'll be seeing you around and remember like i said check us out on discord if you're looking for a group or if you need help in game the link is in almost all of my videos description and join us if you can and you will definitely find friends to play with. Yo, if you're looking for some hands down the best merch, you can check out my merch store. The link is also in the description. And it's got my awesome dragon logo on there. I got shirts, hoodies, anything you can think of. So hit that up. Also hit me up on Instagram and on Twitter, guys, because I'll be chilling there. And a lot of times I'll send posts there before my videos come out just so people know. So hit that up if you would like the pre-advanced notice of when stuff's coming out. See you next time, gamers. This is Hans signing off. Peace.